I'm Lady Ascal, and today we talk about additional eyes on your V-Roid model. To be clear, these eyes are more of a cosmetic feature at the moment, but we can at least make them blink whenever you blink. Let's jump right in. I will work with a simple dummy today and just try to convey the basics of this technique. We start with creating a new hair preset in one of the four combinable bottom categories. And I will pick the extra category here. This technique will work similar to the anime eye technique and if you didn't watch this video yet, I highly recommend it. We create two materials here and you basically got two choices how to go about it. I decided to create the eye textures outside of V-Ride in a drawing program like Paint Tool Sci, GIMP, Clip Studio, Photoshop, you get the idea. All you need to do is to draw your desired eye and iris and position them correctly on a hair texture template that you can conveniently export directly from your material texture section. To make them blink, we would need two states, which are the open eye state and the closed eye state. You can create a second pair of eyes also with v presets by combining an eyeliner, iris and highlight material, which you can export directly through the added texture menus. The only problem you will face is to get a fitting closed eye texture. I, on the other hand, will make a quick mock-up of an eye here to talk about doing it completely outside of Vroid, how placement will work and how you can align these. In hindsight, I should have also drawn a second pair of eyebrows, but completely forgot about that. Now we prepare the actual hair for this and all you have to do is to draw a single hair strand where you want to place your second pair of eyes. The hair strand has to be flat shaped all together as we will use it as a kind of canvas for our eyes. We then import our eyes onto the hair material texture and don't forget to deactivate all the highlights and extra colors. If the alignment on the hair texture wasn't correct, like how it is here for my first try, we would have to flip the eyes over to the other side to make it work. The rest is basically just working on the alignment of the hair, how far you want the eyes to be from the face and so on. I will skip that because believe me, it just takes a while until it looks good. So take your time with it. Readjust the eye placement on your texture and play around with the texture parameters. All you have to do now is to duplicate your first strand and then make a new material that will be the closed eye version. Here you will only do minimal adjustments with the offset slider usually. And we are finished with this part. We can export our model now. Don't forget to deactivate the delete transparent meshes and the combine hair meshes. And save your model to a place you remember. Now onto the second part for which we will create a new Unity project and import our usual plugins. In this case, all we need is the Uni VRM plugin. I promise this will be easier than actually creating and setting the eyes in Vroid. We go to Assets, Import Package, Custom Package and select our Uni VRM plugin. I'm using 0.92 as usual, but for this effect it really doesn't matter. We create a little folder in the bottom assets for our model once the plugin is installed and drag the model into it. After the import is complete, we drag our model into the hierarchy to the left. We then find the material folder and can see all our materials and also our new hair eye material that we created. We find our closed eye material, check that the rendering type is either cut out or transparent and set the transparency of the texture color to zero to make it invisible for now. Now all we got to do is switch over to our blend shapes and find the blend shape for closed eyes. You can see here if you wanted to take this a step further, you could have also created two more templates for when you only close one eye. All these by the way don't matter anymore once you use HANA tool and a better face tracking. Then you would have to find their responsible blend shapes for blinking and would use these accordingly, as this replaces the standard blend shapes. In any case, we switch to the material list and add our open eye material, which should disappear now. So we select underscore color on the second option and turn the transparency to zero, if it doesn't happen automatically already. Then we add the closed eye hair texture and up the transparency from underscore color, so whenever we blink, 
and will look like as if our second pair blinks with us. Now onto the export. As usual, select your avatar's name in the hierarchy and go to the VM0 menu at the top to select Export. Don't forget to set a version and export your avatar with a name that differentiated from our initial model. In VC Face, all we have to do now to see if it worked is to activate AutoBlink. And voila, a second pair of eyes. Obviously, you can go as crazy as you want with these templates and with HANA tool to customize the animations these eyes can do. See you all next time. I hope you have a wonderful day.